Hello, and welcome to the official walkthrough video of the Infinitones Contact Instrument. Infinitones is made of five unique components that give producers access to a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to creating music. Let's go through them together and learn what makes this instrument so special. The heart of these five components is the Chromavision. This is a sample-based synthesizer, which features the familiar controls you'll find in real analog synthesizers, with some extra functions. Let's start with the basics first. The master volume knob regulates the main volume by default. By clicking on master volume, you reach the menu that gives you control over the different layers. Once the reverse, stutter, radiant, fusion, or variance effect is activated on the polychrome pedal, you can change their volume. The glide fader controls the strength of the pitch slides between the played notes. The following button allows you to switch from poly to mono. Since the 1.1 update, we added a hidden feature that allows you to drag and drop your own audio files directly into Chromavision and layer them with the existing presets, or edit them individually with the effect pedals. Polychrome effects are based on recorded audio layers through real effect pedals and will not change your own sounds. Drag and drop your sounds right on the Chromavision logo or click the logo to access the audio display. The left icon on the drop field activates the loop mode and the button next to it resets your drop sounds. Next, we come to the time section. Here we have pitch and a speed knob. The pitch goes from minus 24 semitones to plus 24 semitones. With the speed knob, the selected sound can be made really slow or really fast without changing the pitch. Clicking on time opens another option, pitch modulation. Here, the pitch is modulated by an LFO, which can create glitch-like textures. And combined with delay effects or a reverb, your sounds become absolutely atmospheric and unique. Here is the LFO section, which modulates the volume. To activate it, we click on the on-off button first. The first knob is for the mix of the LFO. The second knob controls the frequency rate that is responsible for the speed of the modulation. Here we have sine, square, and saw wave. These can be used together or individually. By clicking on LFO, you access another modulation option, filter modulation. The structure of the knobs is similar to the LFO. The only difference is we have two knobs for two different frequency rates. Mod 1 is for the cutoff. Mod 2 is for the resonance. Here again we have a simple sine wave. Square and saw are replaced by the random knob, which is a mix of all waves together. Since every little bit of turning changes the setting, it's impossible not to create new modulations. Next, we have a low-pass ladder filter and resonance. By clicking on Filter, a menu shows up where Main or Bass can be selected. Both can be filtered separately from one another. There's not much to say about the envelope. Here you have control over Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. The Pitch and Mod Wheel work perfectly with a MIDI keyboard. When turning the Mod Wheel, you can add distortion and a rotator to your sound. The keyboard is divided into two sections. The red keys from C1 to B1 are bass sounds. Each preset has a different unique one. The blue keys from C2 to B4 are the main synth sounds. Each sound also comes with a large number of snapshots. These snapshots are saved presets for the synth and pedals. We come to the first of the four effects pedals, Relay. This effects pedal combines and emulates a spring reverb based on real impulse responses and an analog BBD delay. Use the left stomp knob to activate reverb controls. Here we have a pre-delay, a knob to change the size of the reverb, and the reverb mix. Above the LED that shows whether the effect is active is a switch between dark, which is a warmer and more present reverb, and light, which is a more reserved spring reverb. To activate the delay, use the right stomp knob. Here, you first have the delay time, 
which is set to 132 bars by factory setting. Through a menu that can be opened by clicking on delay time, you can change the time from 11 bars to 164 triplet. Next, you have feedback and the mix of the delay. The delay also has additional functions. Right beside the pedal, you have a switch to activate a ping pong delay and a knob which you can switch through four different BBD modes, clean, warm, dark, and grunge. With the button in the middle lower area, you can switch between the pages. The next pedal is called Polychrome. Polychrome is a small texture machine with five selectable presets, reverse, stutter, radiant, fusion, and variance. As the name reverse suggests, when activated, the main sound can be played backwards. The stutter effect sounds like a glitch that repeats itself over and over again. Radiant plays the notes at normal speed and an octave higher at double speed if you keep the key pressed. The fourth effect is fusion. It's a mix of normal and half speed, which together produces pad-like sounds. Last but not least is variance. This consists of time stretch delay taps and minus 12 and plus 12 semitones pitch glide harmonies. The dry wet signal of the various effects is controlled via the mix knob. Stargaze is an extraordinary effects pedal designed to transport your sound into cosmic dimensions. With a dedicated reverb that conjures atmospheric soundscapes reminiscent of being aboard a spaceship in outer space. The reverb is complemented by a dynamic flanger, which gives your signal a touch of modulation. The left stomp button on the Stargaze pedal activates Flare. Flare is a flanger that provides a spacey, dynamic sound. In the middle of the pedal is Convolution. This effect will be activated by pressing the right stomp knob. Convolution is a reverb looper that creates space-like atmospheres, soundscapes, and crazy other stuff. The size knob can be used to adjust the length of the loop and the reverb. The last pedal of this chain is the Tape Crusher. The Tape Crusher is a specialized effects pedal dedicated to delivering captivating lo-fi tape effects, compression, and saturation. This pedal is your gateway to vintage tape, VHS, and cassette-inspired sounds. The knobs model, wow, and LP filter can be activated by clicking the left stomp knob. The model knob steps through 10 equalizer profiles based on old VHS, tape machines, and camcorders. The wow knob is for classic tape style movement, and the low pass filter is there to filter out noise or sharpness from the model frequencies. The two knobs below can be activated using the right stomp knob. Tape comp is a compressor that gives the sound a lot of pressure. Saturate is a combination of compression and distortion. Thank you for watching. We hope this walkthrough was informative and insightful, and that any questions you had were answered. Wishing you plenty of fun and creativity with your new virtual contact instrument, Infinitones.